Chris Baldwin of Paper City Houston. Uh, for Josh, uh, Jamal, and, and Tajay, when you when you get get so uh, you know when you're so close to the Final Four, does the moment seem you know e even bigger? And how, how do you guard against you know, you know making it too big? Josh, you want to start with that one? Um, it really just focus more on the game and time. You know, there is no Final Four if we don't go out and play well in the Elite Eight. So focus against playing against Nova, the opponent, um, tough opponent, discipline. Um, Respected um, coach, so you know, going out there and focusing on winning the game Saturday. Jamal, um, like Josh said, you know, just taking it one game at a time. You know, there is no final four if we don't win tomorrow. So, you know, we want to focus on Villanova and focus on our game plan and try to stick to it. Tajay, um, I'm gonna top and agree with what those guys said. Just stay on the course and try to figure out what we're doing in the Elite Eight before we get to the Final Four. Here on the right. James Mueller, the Cougar. Jamal, uh, after last night's game, Coach Sampson talked about how much Quanis White has helped you develop your shot. Can you just talk about some of the work you've done with him and how he, what he's done to really help you find that shot? Um, you know, a lot of it is just reps, you know, just staying in the gym, trying to perfect your craft, you know. He's a, he's a great, great coach, and, you know, he just tries to keep me motivated and keep me in the gym, and that, I think that's all that it really came down to. Here on the left. Guys, after the game last night, uh, former UH great, Akeem Olajuwon, of course, he was impressed with the defense and the rebounding, but he said, you know, these guys know how to win. They know how to win. What does that mean to you, uh, that knowing how to win and how important that is? Kyla, you want to take that one? Um, it's always nice getting high praise from one of the, you know, best, one of the best players, you know, to play the game. So. Just having the praise from him and, uh, you know, the way he likes like how we play the game is just, uh, you know, good for us. Here in the front. Randy McAvoy from KPRC Channel 2 in Houston. Uh, question for Jamal. Um, your growth and development, how much have you leaned on some of these veteran players and uh, how has that helped your game, especially with the, the time you're seeing on the floor this year? Uh, you know, with being in the backcourt with Kyler and Tajay, you know, they've, they've played a lot of college games, you know, especially Kyler, you know, he's, he knows how to win. He's been at every stage. And, uh, you know, having that guy next to me in the backcourt is just giving me a lot of confidence, especially with Fabe and Josh just telling me to keep shooting or what they see, you know. As a point guard, you know, you like to listen to everybody on the team because, you know, you have the ball mostly. You know, those, those guys always open my eyes up, you know. Me and Fabe talk a lot about just certain spots, just certain shots. And I think that's just helped me a lot this year. Steven in the back. Ben Hawkins with the AP. Hey, man, you were part of this group last year. To be up there with a completely different starting five and to be in a position to maybe get back to the Final Four, what does it say about this group and, and how you guys have come together? And what have you seen the growth in this group? Um, just maturity, really. We got a lot of uh, older guys. Taz, they've been here, five, uh, been playing college basketball for five years. J JC been playing basketball five, uh, college basketball five years, and uh, Kyle is a senior, so we got a lot of experience. Uh, we don't we don't get too high, too low in the games. Uh, we just stay uh, solid, really. And uh, I think we, as a team, we just bonded really, especially over the off season with uh, how hard conditioning is and uh, just how hard practice is. Uh, we just stick together through all the adversity, really. Here in the front, Adam. Adam Winkler from ABC 13 in Houston for any of you guys. You just heard Kelvin talk about Villanova being one of the big brands in college basketball. But here you guys are back in the Elite Eight on the doorstep of the Final Four. You're the favorites to win the national championship. Now, I want to know what you guys think about the U of H basketball brand right now. Kyler, knock yourself out. Um, I mean, we went from, you know, people not believing in us. Now we're the highest, you know percentage to win the national championship. So it just, we don't really, you know, feed in all of that. We just really, you know, just take one game at a time, you know, you know, just really, we have to play our brand of basketball. Down here on the center. Mark Berman from Fox Houston. Kelvin, could you tell us about some of the challenges that Villanova presents? I'm going to stop you, sorry. We're going to keep these to student athletes. Oh, just for the student time, athletes? And then we'll keep coach afterwards. Oh, so. okay, okay. Well, Kyler, can hey, you take, uh, his, uh, take his question asking, um, uh, um, opportunities away since he didn't pay attention to the original statement. <laughs> Sir, could you leave the room? <laughs> or at least give us your badge. You're welcome to it. 
I didn't hear her say that. Of course so, you didn't. <laughs> no worries. We'll go here in the front. Good. Joseph Duarte, Houston Chronicle. Uh, Fabian, Tajay, Josh, just curious. You know, we've talked all year about maybe the lack of attention you guys have received or, you know, whether it's a lack of quadrant one or an underseating. You know, do you think now maybe you guys have opened some eyes or does it really even matter at this point? No, we really pay attention to the media and all that other stuff. We just, you know, try to stay in our little bubble and uh, just – Work hard, uh, play to the culture, and uh, win the next game. Really, because we we want to keep playing and, and uh, keep advancing. And the center, Colin Beasley from the Villanova. And for any of you guys, what what are the challenges of playing a team as experienced as Villanova? Jamal, you want to start with that one? Um, you know, they have a lot of older guys. They're they're mature. You know, they know how to win. But uh, we have a lot of older guys, and I feel like it'll be a, a great matchup and. A great game to have. Hi, uh, Jerry Briggs from uh, San Antonio. One, had a question for uh, Fabian. Uh, Fabian, there was a, a column in uh, USA Today this morning. I wanted to read you one, uh, one statement that, that was made by the writer as an opinion piece. Um, the, the comment was Houston's, it was about last night's game, and he said, Houston's physicality on every single play made things so difficult that Arizona quite literally didn't know what to do. And I just wanted to ask if you agreed with that and why or why not? Um, that's, just, that's just how we play. We play physical uh, in practice. We barely call fouls. Um, uh, we dive on the floor, very loose ball in practice. So it's just really just culture. That's just our culture. We want to play physical. We want to not make the game easy for the opponent. So yeah, I agree with that statement. We want to, we want to uh, play physical as much as possible. For Fabian and Josh, anybody who wants it, this is a direct quote from your athletic director. Get your butt to San Antonio. That was his plea from the folks in Houston to San Antonio. Have you guys been putting out messages, maybe having other folks, that there's no reason to not make that three-hour drive to come support y'all for a regional final tomorrow? Josh, you want to start with that one? Um, yeah, shoot. I think we had a great crowd on Friday night. Thursday. Thursday night? Yeah, Thursday night. So hopefully it could show up again. Um, Another team just like Arizona, their fan base travels. They, they have a great fan base, so we know they're going to show up. Um, you know, so if everybody can show up in San Antonio and support us, that would be great. That's just another advantage for us. Right, we're going to take our next question from Zoom. Anne, go ahead, please. Next question comes from Chancellor. Please unmute your microphone and ask your question. Hey, Chancellor Johnson, KPRC2. This is for any of the players. I hate to put you on the spot like this in front of Kelvin, but for any of the players, what's your favorite part about playing for Kelvin Sampson? Mm. I, I'll answer that. You know, he he never changes. You know, he's the same guy day in and day out, and I, and I think that's just most important for our team, and I think that's my favorite part for sure. You know, he's always going to be the same guy, same energy, and that, that just keeps our team level-headed at all times. 